More Dukes, less Kardashians. Is My Child Stupid? by Pierre Lawrence. Dune, Part 3. Now you know the rest of the story. The World. Why is everything so messed up these days? Gen X called it. 1980s. Let's go to the future. 2024. Let's go back to the 80s. You know you've tried it. Fishy, fishy, fishy! One, one fish? I had forgotten all about this. But yeah, when I was a kid, I tried it. How many of you guys tried this when you were kids? Or maybe when you were adults, I don't know. I was never any good at fishing, so maybe I should have tried this more. 13 year olds today are having relationship stress. When I was that age, I closed the fridge door slowly to see how the light goes off. Okay, children of the 80s, what's missing here? Well, I'm just gonna name two. Number one, wood paneling. I mean, that's obvious. Number two, the big wooden floor model TV. What else do you guys think is missing? No one. We need a movie about arm wrestling truckers. 1980s. Go on, I'm listening. If you know the name of this movie, drop it in the comments. The older I get, I relate less with the Brat Pack and more with Carl the Janitor. Who remembers these McDonald's hats? I'll be honest, I don't. I don't know if these were limited to certain areas or what exactly, or maybe I just don't remember them, but... When somebody calls you back instead of just texting. I just ignore the call and let it go to voicemail. Find out if it's anyone I actually want to talk to. I'm Yellow Building Wendy's Old. Yeah, this is true. We always talk about how McDonald's has changed. They used to be red and yellow, and now they look like prison gray. But nobody ever brings up how Wendy's changed. Apparently from what I've read, there's still a couple of these around. Why did no one tell me that the second controller in Duck Hunt controls the ducks? How many of you guys knew this? I had never heard about this before, but apparently it's right in the manual. Of course, who reads the manual? Horton hears a <laughs> Chuck Norris turned 84 this month. Elon Musk should buy MTV and start showing videos again. Somebody should. Life was so much simpler when we could play a friendly game of Red Rover and just clothesline the people we didn't like. It's 1985 and you just bought this. What's the first song you play? Press the buttons on your keyboard and drop it in the comments below. Only Willie Nelson could look perfectly normal in this situation. I agree with these specific characters there. He just fits right in with them. Blocking someone in the 90s. If you know what this is, smash the correct letters to make out your answer and put it down below. 
Name a TV show you loved that you wish they never would have canceled. Well, since this doesn't say it has to be the 80s or 90s, I'm going to jump up to a much newer series. Around 2006, there was a TV show called Jericho. I have the DVDs. Even though it was really popular, they almost ended it after the first season. They finally aired a short second season two years later and ended it for good that time. If you guys have never seen it, you might try to look it up online. Or I'm sure there's still some of the DVDs out there floating around. I'd say everyone here remembers them. Remember using a knife or spoon to pry the lid open? Yep, absolutely. Not strawberry though. I hate the strawberry milk. This reminds me of a news article I had on one of the past episodes of Laugh While the World Burns that stated that 7% of Americans believe that chocolate milk came from brown cows. If you guys haven't checked out that series yet, I'll drop the link in the video description. Siblings as kids. Siblings as adults. Kids nowadays don't know nothing about these. Millennials, you all's getting old too. From account Gen X, the world according to us, what the heck ever happened to that spotted owl? We saved it, Dan. Last good thing we ever did. I think that's far from the truth. I found out about this from one of my viewers in Canada. Who remembers the TV show, Mr. Dress Up, otherwise known as Ernie Combs. Basically, he was the Canadian Mr. Rogers. And from what I read, he was actually an understudy of Mr. Rogers. As a side note, this was when even the fairy tales had wood paneling. I'm easy to get along with when things go my way. I used to have this exact cup, along with three or four other ones that was in this same collection. The good old days. Picture from 1986. Who remembers the Floby? This was a vacuum haircutting system. That way you could cut your own hair without any mess. I actually saw a clip not too long ago of George Clooney, where he said that he's been using the Floby to cut his own hair for more than 20 years. I just thought that was kind of funny. Remember the original duck hunt? Yeah, neither does AI. This is a completely AI generated image. And some of it ain't too far away from the 80s. Like, both of them smoking. And there is what appears to be a Nintendo there on the floor. Although the controller is all kinds of messed up there. With that said, that's a 90s style TV. And obviously that's not the correct controller that he's using for Duck Hunt. And no one seems to notice that instead of being on the TV screen there, the ducks are sitting in the living room. We'll just ignore the duck that has his head in a hole in the floor and the other one that's unalive. Kids these days will never understand how good a new copied paper smelled. If it was fresh out of the printer, and even more so if it was a stack of copies, they'd be super warm and they were great to hold, especially when it was in the winter. How old are you? Old enough to remember when Kim Cattrall was a mannequin. How many of you guys remember this TV show? I think it was on PBS, maybe. I think this started just a little bit before Gen X. 
But I remember watching this when I was a kid. Congratulations! You just won a lifetime supply of the last thing you bought. What do you have? Well, I had to think about it, but the last time I bought anything was at Walmart. One of the items I bought was dog food. So that'd be really great if I had a lifetime supply of dog food. So what did you guys win a lifetime supply of? Drop it down in the comments. Kids, if you're trying to explain AI to Gen X and older, just tell them it's like Kit from Knight Rider. Maybe some of the older generations? But I don't see you having to explain AI to Gen X. It was Gen X that created and built the first computers, the first video games, the first GUI operating systems, and the beginning of the internet. And we've kept up with and continued on with all the technology that has happened since then. I may not keep up with the bleeding edge of new technology, mostly because it's just too expensive. But I think most of us Gen X still have a firm grasp of the new technology that's coming out these days. Speaking of technology, how many of you knew that there are companies now that are making slightly updated knockoffs of the Sony Walkman? Such as this one pictured here, which charges by USB. I'm not sure why we needed to keep the toilet warm, but my mom thought it was important. I never liked these things. Nor the, any kind of carpeting in the bathroom. I always thought it was gross. And I still do. Do you remember waiting for that aerosol can to explode? Yeah, I remember that. I think I might have threw one in there last week. What's even better is if you have a few of them, and you know what bag they're in, when you have some other people that's around nearby, throw them in there and just wait for the reactions. Because that's something that nobody expects these days. Who would watch Jaws like this? No. No, I would not. I wouldn't watch any movie like this. Remember the days when grandmas looked like this? Yes, yes I do. You're 12, playing outside. It's 100 degrees and your mom brings out a handful of these. Which one do you grab? Lime, the green one, first every time. It was the best one out of all the flavors. And it still is, by the way. Grape would be my second choice, and third, maybe orange. What's your all's top three choices? You think you're all that in a bag of chips, huh? Me. I showed one or two photos of this in the last episode. This is another photo of the Tesla time machine at night. But no matter how much fire it can put down on the road, I still don't like it. Only a real 80s person can hear this picture. I'm finally old enough to do anything I want but too tired to actually do it. The problem with today's kids can be summed up in one simple fact. They've never played dodgeball in PE class. If somehow dodgeball was allowed in schools today, I can't even imagine what the rules would be or even what the goal was. Name a song with a man's name in the title. I had to actually think about this one. And I'm sure there's probably more. 
but the only one I could think of was Johnny B. Good. Great song, by the way, by Chuck Berry. Remember fitting three people in the front seat? Look at all that leg space. I wish my dad's car had that kind of leg room. I can't hardly get in and out of it. Let alone my dad who's 83 and has a number of health problems. When you heard this was a thing, who dreamed of having this? Diplomatic immunity. When was the first time you guys learned of this? Was it from the news or the movies? Write the name of a horror movie using emojis only and have others guess what it is. Here's my answer. You guys use your mouse and make your answer in the comments below. When I was a kid, we didn't have bottled water. We had a garden hose. This is 100% accurate. If you'd have told your friends back in that you wanted to buy a bottle of water, they'd have laughed at you. If you know who this is, we can be friends. Probably fairly obvious, but if you know the movie, drop it below. So, how did you get into classical music? Me. Back when it was considered rude not to have an ashtray at the dinner table. Simpler times. That is an awesome rack stereo system. Scared Potter? Hot hockey! Who knows what this is? This is why women live longer. Hey, who else is gonna go up and fix the antenna? Things I thought I would have as an adult. A thriving career. An amazing social life. An impressive retirement account. Things I actually have as an adult. A plastic bag filled with plastic bags. A favorite spatula crippling anxiety. And a box full of prescription meds. Hackman grossed one billion dollars and quarters in its first year of release. And the following year, 1982, it earned six billion dollars in quarters, which was more than the combined amount of money spent in Vegas casinos and U.S. movie theaters that year. And that's how they learned it was easier to target the children than it was the parents. Which list is your top choice? All four of them have some great titles. But if I had to pick one, I'd have to go with number two. Surge Soda, which was passed off as an energy drink. This was a follow-up to Jolt Cola, which was the original. Name an 80s TV character that you can identify just by their voice. Well, right here's a prime example, Alf. What's your all's number one answer? I believe every purse made between 1970 and 1987 came with a roll of these in it because I don't know any adult woman from that era who couldn't produce one within eight seconds on demand. 
That is pretty much a true statement. Jean-Claude Van Damme as the original 1987 Predator. That's actually pretty funny. That movie could have turned out a whole different way. I hope all dogs go to heaven. Except for this dog. This dog can go straight to... It was on the arcade version, where you could actually shoot the dog. I think Nintendo did that just to get the kids to play the arcades. Before switching HDMI inputs, we had these. Who remembers the name of this cartoon character? I fell off my bike in 1986 and hurt my knee. I'm telling you now because we didn't have social media in those days. That story there is pretty tame to a lot of the injuries that we had back in the day. All you guys are proof of that. There's a good number of stories that I've read in the comments. That's pretty impressive. MTV Music Television All day, all night The music never stops So call your cable company and tell them that you long for MTV Well, the music stopped a long time ago Start walking and I'll meet you really was the days more often be riding your bike my favorite disney movie watch yours back when disney actually made new movies instead of just remakes of the remakes When you're wearing socks and step into something wet. Why is this so true? If you don't stop crying, I'll give you something to cry about. This is my Stanley Cup. I can smell this picture. That's true. Why were crayons scented? I mean, you weren't supposed to eat them. Did they want them to be appetizing to kids? Did any of your teachers have this chalk holder? I remember at least one did. If you know what this dance is, then you are an original. It's 1984. I buy tickets to see Ghostbusters and Dune. It's 2021. I buy tickets to see Ghostbusters and Dune. It's 2024. I buy tickets to see Ghostbusters and Dune. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn. Over and out.